Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the video. We're at a warm showers host in Salada. I've been here for a couple of days, had a few rest days, recoup. Uh, today, we're heading off, going over Marshall's Pass. It's an old rail grade, so it should be really pretty easy, even though it is 1,300 meters. Over the top, down to Sargent's, which is a tiny little town with a restaurant. And we'll see where we go from there. So, without further ado, we're back on the road. So we've popped onto this bike trail. We're only gonna be on it for just a moment. Check out the mountain over there. It's gotta be a 14er. How many 14ers does Colorado have? Like 50? 14,000 feet or more. Got me bread here. We're set for, what is it gonna be? Three, we'll get to the next town on the third day of riding. Go on boys, we're going to New Mexico. Look at those, so good. Oop, back up, Whee. Uh, so we're on this county road, 120, 125 or something. There's a bike path along it. Should take us to Poncho Springs where we turn off. So I don't know if you all have noticed or not through the videos, but the feel and the vibe of this trip has changed a lot. Probably in the last couple of weeks. Because I've been staying a lot more warm showers and camping a lot less. Like, we haven't camped since the day we were in Kremlin. So it's at one, two, three, four, five, like five, five days or something, six days. And yeah, it's, it's so different. I feel a lot fresher, a lot more relaxed. And it, it doesn't feel like the challenge that it was. It feels a bit more like I'm just a guy out doing a bunch of day rides. I mean, obviously I still got all the gear. But it's been nice though. Like, I was getting a bit burnt out with all the camping after a month. Or whatever it was. And we had a couple. I think we stayed at people's places like twice, didn't we? But yeah, it's just been on my mind. Have you noticed it? What do you guys think? Like, do you think just try and camp every night or a balance? I'm thinking like, you can stay at a host every like three nights or something. Gives you a chance to clean up at least. I mean, I don't really want to pay for washing either. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Hello. <laughs> Come on. Cats, man. They're so hot and cold. So I don't think we're going to bother going in, but looks like there's a gas station, Palmer Springs, and ice cream. The ski shop. Well, it's just a slog up the 285 right now. Nice wide shoulder, traffic's pretty respectful. It's just long. And pretty busy. I think it's the Poncha Pass. It like comes and goes depending on how I'm oriented, I guess. Pretty strong though. Alright, Marshall's Park, Pass, Silver Lake, Ohava Lake Campground. Let the climbing really begin, I guess. The biker right behind me too. Hey, this is great so far. Beats the road, that's for sure. Uh, the grade's way easier. Quiet. And yeah, don't have to put up with that traffic, dude. So much better. Back off-road, uh, where we belong, huh? Snack time. Got some leftover curry here. Got some leftover rice. Just a little pre-lunch snack. Going up, you can see the trail along there. Nice gradual grade. It's fantastic, I ain't complaining. Marshall Path, 11 miles still, damn. A lot of motos around. Can't pass by them. Probably the most I've seen of any pass by ATVs and also dirt bikes. All right, we've stopped for lunch in a shady spot. We got like 650 meters or so left to climb. Oh, hey, mate. Get another tour. Happens to go fast as I do a video. That's cool. Uh, the grade's great. Zero to four percent for the majority of it. We just passed that Ohava Lake. We could have gone there for lunch, but it was an extra 60 meters, and I just, I didn't want to do it. So we just found a nice spot on the trail. There's nothing like a rail trail. Making good progress on this climb. A little sandy, though, and soft. 
you feel it every now and then when it's not sandy it's rocky <laughs> you can't win everything well there's the lake we could have had lunch at isn't it amazing maybe it would have been worth the uh 60 meters <laughs> oh well we don't have time to be messed around though we gotta make up a bit of time really oh well I'm looking at that mountain up there all I can think is, how much of that am I climbing? Probably a lot of it. <laughs> it's a great view right now. Well, like, two hours of riding later, 1,046 meters. Nah. I think we gotta get up to like 1,300, dude. <laughs> this whole day has just been one long climb, relentlessly. This definitely feels like we're getting closer to the top plateau hopefully check out the mountains back there damn dude look at that epic uh, thank the trail gods come on boys come on boys we did it oh thank you oh god Thank you. Oh, my God. That was a lot of climbing. Even though it was so easy, it's just like, oh, so we're climbing for like four hours today? No worries. More. We started 9.30. Now it's probably like four. Just climbing, just climbing. Good view though. The descent's gonna be amazing, guys. You know it, you know it is. Yeah, it's pretty good so far. So this is the top. And we came through this cutting over here. Oh shit, my bike fell over. <laughs> Didn't even hear it fall. God damn it. Alright, the... Oh god. Whoa, whoa, eyes. It just got a bit rough. I was <laughs> going to show you the view, but oh my god. Guys, we got 27 kilometers of descending just to Sergeant alone, like 750 meters. It is gonna be fantastic. And considering it's a rail trail, it should be pretty chill all the way. Hopefully it's not too rocky or soft or anything. We can really enjoy it. I'll try and give you a whole bunch of clips as always. For now, I'm gonna enjoy the bomb the descent for a while. I was gonna say no complaints so far, but then as soon as I started filming, it becomes rocky and bumpy. Like it was beautiful until I pulled the phone out. Alright, there you go. Oh, I love rail grades, guys. I absolutely love rail grades. Woohoo! Actually, there was a spot a lot like this on the way up I wanted to film for you all, but then I thought oh, I'll probably see it on the way down. Just thick grows of these aspen trees. Doesn't it look great? It's different to a lot of the forests we see with the pine trees. It makes it look so much brighter and more open. Yeah, they're nice trees, those ones. I love a gap in the trail that shows your freaking mountain coming out of the ground. Amazing, man. Oh, man, this is going to be a totally different vibe, man. Like, descend we're going to be descending for a good hour, at least. I mean, I think I don't even think I'm going 27 k's an hour. That's a lot of downhill, isn't it? See the cutting on the left? And, just take a look to the right. Probably another mountain in the distance that we're gonna have to climb. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. Isn't that sick? I love that. Awesome trail, man. <laughs> wow! Some of the aspen trees are gold because they're losing their leaves. It's that time of year, you know. Oh, isn't that cool? I bet it looks beautiful through here in a few weeks when they're all gold. And... It's supposed to be 70 meters to climb, but I think it's all just going to be little rolls. Oh, dude. How nice is this? Oh, there's another biker down there. I wonder who that is. I can't tell if they got panniers or not. Oh, check this out. I love it when it opens out, dude. Up there. 
<laughs> so it's opened up into some kind of meadow. I actually had to do a slight amount of climbing. Luckily not enough to warm me up too much. I'm wearing my puff jacket coat thing. Yeah, a bit of traffic, a bit of dust. A couple other bikers, good times. Well, it's warmed right up. Kind of wish I never put my jacket on. It wasn't as cold as I thought it might have been. And it's kind of the grade such that, boy, oh, you can, at the moment, I'm just getting away with not pedaling, but damn, did I have a headwind a minute ago? Well, I presume this is Sergeant's. Because, yep, there's the highway. Cool. Yep, we're at Sergeant's at the gas station and restaurant. So I'm eating leftovers and then maybe I'll get some more food. Uh, I don't know what we're doing yet, so I'll keep it posted. All right, we're about to get going and I've got quite the stack on my bars here. Turns out there's actually like showers here. So we went and got cleaned up, it was real nice. Had some fries. We're gonna go like two k's down the road to our campsite and then set up. I mean, it's just, the sun's just setting behind those mountains now. And it cools off heaps when the sun goes. It was warm before, like five minutes ago. So we're currently trying to find somewhere to wild camp right out of Sargent's. Now our warm house host recommended a spot, like two k's out, we're nearly there. So hopefully it's okay. We can set up and relax. All right, we found a great spot. If you're interested in it, your first left, then over the bridge to the right from Sargent's when you're heading south and just ride till you get to the National Forest. It's like a mile or less and you'll start to see these pullouts. Set up the tent. Look how I put my bike here. There was like a hump of soil and I thought it was like a good idea to put the bike on it, but it wasn't. It wasn't a good idea, <laughs> but yeah, this is fantastic. Can't complain at all. Well, camp set up. I have to use the the like closer camera because the lighting's getting dark. Yep, looks pretty good though. Eh? All right, so I'm cooking up some rice. Got open the lid, but I'll go leave it steam. Actually, we have these little miso packs. I'm using one of them. I just like dumped it in the rice water. Hopefully, it'll taste good. I'm not even that hungry after all the food we ate at that restaurant. Oh well. Well guys, turns out it was a bad idea to put that miso soup in with the rice. It tastes kind of bitter. Now I have to eat the damn thing. But anyway, while I try and scoff that down, force it down, I'm going to say goodnight. And we'll see you in the next video. I'm not exactly sure where we'll wind up, but a couple of days from now we'll be in Del Norte. So hit subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow.